The following is a presentation of the IHSAA Champions Network. Hello and welcome to the Indiana High School Athletic Association's Champions Network. I'm Bob Lovell, the host of Network Indiana's Indiana Sports Talk. The IHSA Champions Network is proud to bring you great stories about high school athletics from across the state of Indiana. Hoosier hysteria is alive and well throughout our state, especially in Davies County, where a rich tradition of high school basketball thrives at Washington High School and a community that embraces its team, the Washington Hatchets. Oh, community uh, celebrates basketball um, very well. I mean, it's a very important part of the community. Um, you know, they come out to the to the basketball games. They really support the basketball teams, and uh, it's just um, it's just a community event. It's a basketball town, and uh, it, you know we've proven that over the last few years. We're I think ranked second in the state of Indiana, number of championships won, and uh, it's uh, people have always supported basketball here in the bad days and the good days, and it's uh, very few places I think left in anywhere that has uh, five or 6,000 people to a basketball game on a weekend, especially the tournaments, uh, seven or 8,000. So yeah, it's, it's a great basketball town. Uh, basketball in Washington is, is definitely a big deal. Um, I mean, it's a gym of, that holds 7,000 people and the town has 12,000 people, but uh, most nights we get, you know, five to 7,000 people for, for a game. So it, it just shows you how important basketball was to the town. Um, basketball definitely means a lot to the community of Washington. As you can tell by our gym, I mean, we were getting great attendance every night. People are excited about the games, and it just really means a lot to people. Uh, basketball means a lot to this community. I mean, you know, everybody comes out and supports us. It, you know, our fans are great. I like being here. I like playing with in front of everybody, and uh, they're just a really great crowd to be in front of. Uh, basketball means a lot to the community in Washington. It, at uh, our gym seat 7,000 so uh, it's something that a lot of people come in a lot of people watch games and uh, we used to always joke the best time to uh, rob anywhere was during a basketball game because everybody's at the game so uh, it means a lot and uh, I mean everybody pays attention to it. Just a way of life it went back to the late 40, early 40s with Art Grove uh, starting when they won the championships in 41, 42 we grew up knowing those guys who were from the kids in town and we admired them, looked, really looked up to them. We played basketball basically year-round. Uh, that's all we wanted to do. The community was behind it and you, you felt like you were part of the Hatchet program. It gave you a special feeling and you just really strive to do that. Washington, it's brought a community together. Uh, we've had the privilege to have uh, the Zeller family in the community and they've produced, of course, three Mr. Basketballs and helped lead the way to bring us four state championship banners. Uh, but we've got this gym that holds 7,100 people. Uh, so for those around the Hoosier State that believes that basketball isn't what it used to be at these high school gymnasiums, uh, they should come to Washington. The Hoosier hysteria is alive and well. It's always brought the whole student body together, teachers together, and, and uh, it's, really a, it's really a coherent thing for, for Washington High School. I think basketball in, in uh, Davies County is kind of frozen in time, and in this, you know, this particular area, we got Bar Reeve and North Davies, and even in Martin County with the Goatee and, and Washington. I, I think it's, it's really big, basketball is really big here, and uh, you'll see it during, uh, during the regular season as well as during the uh, tournament. I know in a lot of every other areas, uh, basketball, uh, the support has dwindled a little bit, but uh, here it's still it's still big, and and especially over the last um, you know 10 years here, it's been really big, and, and part of that is because of the uh, Zeller family, the Luke, uh, Tyler, and, and Cody being around has has really been big, uh, and and has helped uh, it's helped our basketball program a lot as far as attendance goes. I feel like basketball is frozen in time here in Washington simply because it's really been the thing to do. Uh, 
You know, I can remember when we were researching our book, looking back through newspapers in the uh, 1920s when we had our first group of good teams, and, and the, in those newspapers, the, it wasn't on the, on the uh, sports page. On a Friday night game, the Saturday morning paper, it was the, the main story on the page one of the paper. You know, basketball has just always been the thing to do here in Washington. Built in the 1960s, the Hatchet House is home to a passionate fan base and a basketball program that claims seven Indiana State Championship basketball titles. The Hatchet House is a building that's more than brick and mortar. It's truly a basketball treasure of Davies County. And now, the starting lineup for the Washington Hatchets. People call me the voice of the Hatchet House, but uh, it, it's the best seat in the house. Uh, I've enjoyed it. I've learned a lot of basketball. We've had some great coaches in here. Uh, Don Rogers, Dave Omer, Gene Miller. Uh, Gene was over at Vincennes for a number of years. Got to learn a lot of basketball just listening to the uh, timeouts. Uh, of course, I got to see a lot of good basketball with nobody in front of me. As far as game time atmosphere for me, it, it gets a little hectic the closer we get to the start of the ball game. And I'm not real sure what it's like for people in the stands, but uh, try to make it part of the experience. Well, the game time atmosphere is, is really unbelievable. It's, it's uh, almost spine tingling when, when uh, you're in, in the crowd and there's a big game going on. I, I can recall the Edgewood Regional game. I believe that was in 08. Uh, I didn't get here in time and I had to stand up uh, along, along the wall and it was just an incredible feeling. Uh, I've never been so nervous uh, in a long, long time uh, when, when that game was going on. And, uh, and it's like that a lot in here. The game time atmosphere at the Hatch House was, was so electric, um, you know, a gym of 7,000 people was always, um, always have a, a really great fan base there and um, anywhere from the students to the whole town of Washington was there. So whether we were playing uh, a scrimmage or the regional championship was always a big crowd. Uh, the game time atmosphere at the Hatch House was superb. It was something that we always had uh, a couple thousand people. and. Uh, for the bigger games, we get four or five thousand people to come out and watch them, and uh, so something be, being able to play in front of that kind of crowd in high school uh, is tremendous, and uh, was always fun. Uh, but I think just the atmosphere in general. Once the game is underway, uh, you've got a great view no matter where you're sitting at in the Hatchet House. Well, it, it's a it's a nice atmosphere. I mean, there are, there are kids uh, before the basketball game, you know, are out shooting around, and as people start falling in. Um, you know, the music's going and, and the fans are coming in. I just think you can, and the smell of the popcorn is in the air. And, and uh, yeah, I think it's just one of those things that uh, really helps our kids get up to, to play. And, and uh, it's something that that's, uh, makes, the, makes the games uh, very important to them. Uh, during the game, I mean, I kind of I tone out the people except the cheer block. I mean, I can always hear them because, you know, they're always doing their cheers and everything. But I mean, it's nice to have them that close to me and knowing that they're there watching and uh, just listening to them, it, it gets me pumped up. I'm John Wilkins, I'm a custodian here at the Hatchet House. And I try to keep it as clean, as nice as I can. The Hatchet House is special because of the, the basketball atmosphere we have here. The people like coming here. There's been several times when I've had kids approach me wanting to come to the Hatchet House on the weekend or it's Sunday or in the evening so they can come out on the floor and play basketball. And we accommodate them when we can but sometimes you can get too many in here. Being a kid in the stands was you know it was pretty fun getting to watch Luke and Tyler and them uh, all the Zellers you know and then I mean that Luke really inspired me because you know he was a great player in high school and he hit that state, state winning shot at state and uh, I mean I just really you know looked up to him and it's got me where I'm at now. Most every team that I talk to love playing here and uh, I can re relate to that when I used to coach at Bar Reeve down the road here uh, we played our sectional here and we love playing here better than we did on our home court it's just always had that great atmosphere there's not a bad seat in the house you know it's just it's just set up for basketball and a lot of people don't like that from the standpoint we don't have PE classes upstairs and all that but it, it's a basketball house and uh, it's a uh, very very uh, you know special to the people in this town. You would, yes, you would think that uh, people would not want to come in here and play, uh, but really the, the coaches and the players that I've talked to really enjoy coming in here and playing, and it's a lot because of the, uh, you know, it's just a great place to play. 
Uh, the atmosphere is, is always good here and the enthusiasm is here and I think most people really enjoy coming into the Hatchet House and playing. Playing here on this floor is a huge sense of pride. I'm proud to be part of the Hatchet program. I look back on it when I sit in the stands now and it's just great to see the kids. Uh, you miss being a part of it uh, as far as being with the team but you know you graduate, you go on, we support the kids and it's just, it's just a, a special feeling being part of the Hatchet history. It means quite a bit to me to be the care caretaker of the Hatchet House. I graduated from Washington High School in 1968, and I was gone from Washington for about 30 years. So moved back here probably, oh, 15 years ago. And I had a former school board member ask him once what I felt or how I felt about taking care of the school. I told him it was somewhat of an honor for me because I, I really I appreciate what we have here in Washington. Well, when I was growing up, Watching everybody from the 05 state team, definitely Luke Zeller stood out. And basically, but all the people on that team, you can just tell they worked so hard on the court. It had been so long since we won a title, and you can see how bad that they wanted it. And it was really just cool to watch them all come together and make the title run that year. Uh, the most memorable play that happened in the Hatcher House was probably just me throwing oops to Cody. I mean, me and him hooked up a few times on oops, and it was, it was pretty it was pretty sweet getting to you know throw an oop to Cody and him just slamming it down. It was it was pretty good. With the history uh, with the Zellers here at the Hatcher House, uh, it's been it's been great. I mean, getting to play with Cody was one of the coolest thing ever. I mean, now he's at Indiana, you know, playing, and uh, it was it was really it felt really fun to play with him because I mean I always relied on him and. You know, he'd always catch me on my back cuts, and he was a—he was just a great player to be around, and he—he uh, he taught me a lot. Well, it's been special to cover the Hatchet just because I, I almost feel like, uh, you know, I'm part of the Hatchet Nation, and uh, uh, they are my team, and uh, I've really uh, enjoyed uh, covering them, especially when they when when they've been successful. Well, I, I think the thing that that uh, makes me most proud is when they, when they when they uh, step out on the floor, that they go out and they give it everything they've got. Uh, each time they go, win or lose, but they're going to go out there and, and uh, bust their fannies and, and give it their best shot. What makes the Hatchet House more special than just brick and mortar are the people. The, not just the fans we have coming in, but everyone working around the scenes. The, the boosters taking care of the food and, and all, all the preparation that goes into a ball game. It's not just open doors and everybody come in, comes in. There's a lot of uh, prep that has to go into that. It's been fun to watch the kids. Uh, the experience has been a great deal. Of course, as a school teacher, I had these kids in class. And uh, it's always fun to watch your kids excel, whether it's in the classroom, on the athletic floor, later than life. Uh, most of the kids have been really, really great kids. Uh, I've enjoyed watching them, uh, watching them excel, watching them represent the community in a positive fashion. And it's uh, been a lot of fun. You've, uh, John Brown, Steve Bushy, uh, the Stryker kid, uh, the Zeller boys, uh, you know, you can just go down the list. Just excellent, excellent people. Scott Alford, uh, you know, go back all, all the way up and down the line. Well, I think it's Im important uh, that, that our players learn the, the value of hard work and, and uh, you know, to be successful that you've got to work hard, uh, not only individually, but work hard as a, as a member of a team you know, to be successful. And I, I think that, uh, you know, that along with the, the discipline that it takes to be successful, I think is very important. And hopefully our, our players will learn that and make them a much more successful person when they leave here. The, the Hatch House is definitely a fun place to play in. Uh, I think the biggest thing is I just miss the, the fans, uh, you know, living in a small town and playing in front of those, those great fans. Um, it seemed like I, I knew quite a few of the fans just from, uh, being around town, so it was, it was definitely fun playing in front of them. Uh, probably what I miss the most about the Hatch House is the student sections. The student sections are always into it. Uh, in high school, you got the home and away student sections, so they're always going back and forth with each other. And uh, it was always funny what somebody would come up with to say, and, uh, and then the retorts for that. So it was something that that was tremendous to be able to play in front of. This being my senior year, I'm going to miss everything about this place. I mean, just being in this type of environment is is sweet. I mean. A big gym, big high school gym, and uh, everybody being here watching me, and you know I won't miss all the fans and all the students and you know everybody that's here.
Thank you for watching this feature presentation of the IHSA Champions Network. Stay up to date with high school athletics in the state of Indiana at www.ihsaa.org. I'm Bob Lovell for the IHSA Champions Network.